Headliners, thank you very much for your company and welcome back to your channel Transmission Lines Engineering TV. In the previous video, we saw a basic description of the documentation to be generated by the engineering area for a transmission line project. In this video, we will see those additional documents to be generated by other disciplines which require the support of the engineer discipline. We will inspect each uh, area separately. So we will start with the quality area. As document number one, we have the design and construction quality plan. This uh, area uh, will create what is called the inspection and testing plan, the ITP, to identify the design and construction activities where internal reviews should be carried out like a, a quality audits or external audits by the client. To identify these uh, activities to be reviewed, it is necessary the collaboration of the engineering and construction disciplines for the identification as well as the establishment of the revision process and the acceptance criteria. As number two document, we have the materials quality plan. In addition to the previous quality plan, there are materials which uh, requires a revision during the manufacturing process since they are key materials such as uh, structures, uh, cables, hardware, so that each purchase order should create a similar document specifically designed for the monitoring of the manufacturing activities, such as uh, obtaining the raw materials to be used, calibration certifications of the cutting or processing equipment, and materials testing. As number three document, we have the package of uh, specifications and quality formats. During the execution of the different engineering packages to be sent to the client for review, the quality area will revise with the engineering and construction disciplines the applicable internal and client specifications for each project activity, from its design to its construction and final acceptance. Now we will go to another area, purchases. As number one document, we have the materials purchase orders. For each uh, material in an individual manner, the purchasing area will generate the corresponding purchase order, which uh, will include not only the commercial aspects of the purchase, but the buyer is not a technical specialist and requires the support of the engineering discipline for its elaboration. Within the information required by the buyer are the materials quantities and descriptions as well as the manufacturing specifications and testings that the suppliers has to meet. As number two document, we have the purchase orders for survey services. The engineering area should help the buyer in the preparation of this document to request survey services. The technical part includes, in addition to the applicable specifications, the form in which the information must be delivered for a fast processing by the engineering area. We have a document number three, which is the purchase orders for LIDAR services. Previously, the surveying services were carried out by means of uh, traditional methods with uh, total station equipment, but still continue to be done in this way because uh, especially in projects where the cost of uh, surveying by helicopter or LiDAR is not uh, justificable. So um, in those lines of uh, considerable extension, it has been seen that the topographic survey by LiDAR is uh, economically feasible due to the speed, safety of the personnel and precision, especially when it is uh, necessary to work with existing facilities. In this case, 
The engineering area will also support the buyer to create the technical section of the purchase order, uh, especially if uh, it requires, in addition of uh, surveying, a thermal survey on existing lines. As number four document, we have purchase orders for external engineering services, what is called outsourcing. Some transmission line projects include certain engineering details which uh, the companies do not have qualified staff for those activities and require the services of uh, subcontractors specialized in those areas, uh, like for example, the installation of uh, underground cables, uh, supply and installation of uh, SF6 uh, gas substations. Some lines uh, require small runways for aircraft or heliports or solar sensitivity measurement services. Or it can be the development of a very uh, specific and complex uh, grounding system. For each one of these very specific services, the engineering area will be the main support of the purchasing disciplines for the definition of the technical details to be included in the corresponding purchase orders. Now we will move on to the administration discipline. As number one document, we have the construction scope of work. The contract administrator will elaborate this document covering the legal and financial points but the technical section, that is, the description of the construction activities is completely in charge of the engineering team. The contract administrator should become familiar with this technical section to know how to monitor with the construction area and the subcontractor. It is a good practice to spend the time with the administrator to explain him the construction sequence with its different activities to identify them into the scope of work of construction. Sometimes there are other areas which also require the support of the engineering discipline, such as uh, third-party crossings management, who are the ones who will process the transmission line crossing permits with other infrastructures, such as uh, railways, roads, rivers, etc. The environment area is another one which uh, will sometimes require the support from uh, engineering since um, sometimes it must generate documentations related to the amount of structures within certain areas to obtain the environmental permits for constructions. So as you can notice, the participation of the engineering area is not limited only to the development of uh, documentations of uh, calculations and drawings for the construction of the line, but there are other documents in charge of other disciplines which require the help from the engineering team. So I hope this video has been helpful for you to have a, a better coordination with the uh, participating areas who beyond being an additional work of disciplines, are, at the end of the day, our fellow workmates. Thank you very much for your kind visit. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me your comments. So, on the next video, Transmission Lines Engineering TV, training to power the world.